What's up? It's your boy that Dragon J here again with another Gundam Battle Operations 2 video. Before we start, thank you for stopping by, tuning in, appreciate you for that. Make sure you follow the prompt that pops on the screen and subscribe to the Dragon Nation as well as that bell for notifications so we can be notified when I drop a video and stay up to date with my channel. With that being said, we're going to jump right into the matches. Um, I got a couple of new Gundams, so throughout the weeks they're going to be um, coming out for new videos and new Gundams I got. Um, the Gundam we're showing off today is S Gundam. It is a, it is the, I guess you could say, uh, the prequel to EX S Gundam. But we did get the S Gundam, so we're going to be rocking with that and see what we can do. I did play with a little bit beforehand. I'm liking how it works. And we're going to be playing not only with that, but I switched up my colors. And I finally found a color scheme that I like. So we're going to play with my original color scheme that I came up with that I thought of. So with that being said, I will see you in the match queue transition. All right, so y'all see my original colors I came up with. It's a combination of red and black with gold accents on a Gundam. And I'm kind of liking the way it turned out. Let's get right into the first match. Let's see what we can do. Like I said, I did play with the Gundam like for two maps to get alchemated to it. I feel like every Gundam when you get a new Gundam, you have to get acclimated to it. So I did do that to get acclimated to it. And I'm liking it. You know, we do what we do. So right here, I'm going to choose to try to get the point. The reason I'm doing this is because every match, when we I don't get points, I get, we get mobbed. Uh, even right now, like the fact that I did not get that point is... Kind of bad because I'm getting mobbed on. It's like my team is like my teammates don't realize like they're going. There we go. So I figure I'm, 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 I'm going to try to get some pot shots off right now. Seriously, what I'm trying to do right now is get pot shots off. Definitely see that person coming around the corner right there. They probably think I don't, but I do. There we go. I got two right there, which is good. Oh, dang it. So right there, I kind of messed up. And the way I messed up is that, uh, in all honesty, I freaking probably shouldn't have did that so far back. Opponent tried to get the stun right there. Managed to be on the building and stop the potential stun. Also managed to get a stun off right there. Oh, I kind of messed my opponent. Kind of messed my teammate up. Did not mean to do that. I right, gotta be careful because we do got somebody right there. We gotta get a hit off right there. So right now we're kind of in a bad position, mainly because it's only like three of us out here, and we're kind of surrounded by on all, all fronts. We go figure out get some stuns right there, help out my opponent. I mean my teammate. So this is good. This is gonna kind of back them off a little bit. If they do choose to stay, they're going to get mobbed. This good's going to come back them off a, a little bit. There we go. Stop my, stop, stop my, stop the opponent from getting like a full on shot from that. Stop him, set my, there we go. So that, so essentially what I did right there, right? And this is what I will say to anybody playing this game. Do not be afraid to support your team, right? What I did right there is I stunned the, I stunned the opponent and instead of going in super hard, I saw my teammate was right there. I stunned my opponent just so that my teammate can confirm and get the kill. And sometimes you just got to do that. Just let your teammate get the kill. If you can stun the opponent to set up for your teammate, set up for him. Don't be afraid of it. You know, like, yeah, I know everybody wants to get, like, a high score, but sometimes, like, it's not about getting a high score. It's about setting up your teammate to get to to get the to get the kill. There we go. All right, so I see that. Yep, I see opponents from the side, so I chose to back off right there just to reposition myself a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna try to come around and back and see if I can get some pot shots in. 
was able to get that pot shot. Paul is going to be aware that I am right here. There we go. Get that lock on right there. Try to get some damage off. All right, I see that my I see that the team my the enemy team went on a round went around. So usually I don't charge up my shots all the time, but sometimes I do do it. It just helps up sometimes that little bit of extra damage. So I'm gonna try to. There, got it. There we go. All right, I see. Yup, I see the enemy right there. So I'm gonna choose to. There we go. Chose to pick that up. Now, I could take the point right here, but right now we're kind of good position as far as kills. So, instead of doing that, I'm not even going to worry about that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to back up my teammate right here. I'll see they're getting um, mobbed on. How? Oh! Alright, that's crazy. Alright, so more than likely I didn't have enough health to take a hit. And I don't know how I got... See, that. that's the one thing that I'm still trying to get down. And not necessarily because it's like I don't understand it, is that I just sometimes like I'll hit my opponent before they let go of their shot, but they'll still get their shot off. And I don't know how... For the life of me, I have not grasped my hand around that concept yet. And it's something that, you know, I'm going to learn. Obviously, we're going to get better with time and learn it, but. Yeah, gotta be careful. Just gotta be careful now. Alright, yep. See, right there. So they're going to probably try to jump me, which is fine, you know. Oh, that was smart. I can't even be mad at that. That was just mad smart on his part. I can't be mad at that. That's kind of bull. That's kind of bull because he was freaking... Got to hear it, bro. So the reason why I say I was bull is because my opponent, I shot my opponent, he was stunned. My opponent was stunned, went for the melee, but they were still able to dash out of it, which is crazy because I hit him with the melee when they were in a stunned state. So that's, that's not one of those things where it's like, how? There's no way that, you know what I mean? So... Another one of those situations where it's like, it's just that there's no way that should have happened. But we're not in a bad position. If we can manage to get the explosion off of the base, that will put us in a really good position. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to... I'm going to choose to help... There we go. I'm going to choose to help my teammate. And then I'm going to also choose to... Um, I, got, I picked up the kill... I was also able to kill the pilot. The reason why I... So, one of the reasons why I do like guns with funnels is because it allows you to kill the pilot. And sometimes, leaving the, if the pilot gets away, it, it sets up for failure because then... You gotta worry about... Nope. They tried. So, right there, right there, I kind of couldn't see much because of the smoke. They tried to get the drop on me. But I was able to time my dodge roll with the time frame to kind of avoid a fatal hit. And we did get third in every spot, which is good. We did hit third in the lobby. It was really good. But that was match one. Um, As you see, I'm in depth. Not good. I could be better and make better decisions with the Gundam. 
but my decision making has gotten better. So it's on all GG. I will see you in the next match. Q transition. All right, let's get it. Match two. Let's see what we can do. Now, typically, I like to um, kind of set up with a Mega Particle Cannon or a Mega Hyper Cannon, but seeing as this Gundam doesn't have either, I'm going to choose to get the base first. I mean, get the beacon. So, more than likely, my, my, the team is not looking at this hill. Still got it. There we go. I'm going to use this opportunity to do that. Also, it looks like... Oh, and that's the problem with letting up on certain things. Are you serious? Right now we oh my god and the bolt is start. Guy, bro, and it, it, it took two of y'all. I still took one of y'all down. If it wasn't for you having help, I would have took your friend down too. That's one thing I will say. You're gonna get alchemy too. Is that if you is the is the freaking explosions? That's one thing that you will have the alchemy too, and better kind of see through. Because if not, you can't see through explosions. There's some. There's like you will. Well, not necessarily get mobbed, but being away, being in a bad position, because you can't see where attack is coming from. Like I said, it takes two to take me down. It never takes just like one person. It always takes two people to take me down. It never is like one person takes me down. It always takes two. Whenever I get in a one-on-one -on -one situation, I body people. It always takes at least two people to deal with me. At least two people. I've yet to lose in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation.
There we go. So I'm, I'm like, I'm getting shot from like another direction. There we go. There we go. I mean, I like, I admit it. He was supporting his team very well. I will give him that. Yeah, that was very. That was good support on his part. But as I've said before, it takes two. Come on. Come on. Come on, this is all we doing, baby. Long range combat. You got that. I, I knew. I knew it was a matter of time. So I'm not even mad. I had no health. I'm like, it's a matter of time. I'm not even mad. I know, but I took. I, I did mad damage. I took somebody out before I did. And like in that situation, I would have said it would have been smarter to um dip back. Yeah, in that situation, I would say it would have been smarter to dip back and try to uh try to um. Heal my uh, repair my Gundam, but I have a situation where like it can it can go either or like it it can be a either or type deal where like it could have been bad to do that it could have been good you never know. Get up, come on. Bye. I mean, let me just let me just fix that up for you real quick. Miss, let, let me just fix that up for you real quick. Fifth, yeah, we, I mean, we could, I could have definitely done better. So fifth is understandable. I could have definitely done better. But that's gonna be in the video for everybody that stopped by, tuning in. Thank you and appreciate you for that. Make sure you follow the problem that pops on the screen and jump up in, tear, destroy, annihilate. Below up that like button so it gets you in the lights keep rolling. Also remember to comment down below. Let me know how you like the video and your opinion on the video. Because all of that is feedback you so that way when you come up from a long day. Whether you do it with friends, family, loved ones, or by yourself. You can have something to watch, relax, have fun, and wind down to the free turn for the night. As far as announcements, I stream on Twitch Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If you check my Twitch page, you'll be able to see my bio, a little bit about me. Some rules that way we can respect our fellow man in Dragon Nation. As well as um, what the channel is about. Also, you will be able to find a schedule. Now, I didn't put up the games I stream on that day because while I do keep it consistent, there may be some weeks where I might want to switch it up and y'all may do something a little different. So that's why I left it open. But the schedule will tell you 
the day's length and start of the streams unless posted on Twitter otherwise. Also, another one of, I have two social medias that I use right now before I spend on more platforms. One is YouTube. It is a panel on my Twitch uh, panel page that has my YouTube link to it. So you click to that, it will take you right to my YouTube so you can check out my videos, drop a like, comment, all that good stuff. And you have a direct link to my YouTube. Also, it's one for my Twitter, so you'll have a direct link to my Twitter. And Twitter is a good way to be aware of my content and when I drop it. Always, I always tweet out the video, game, and, I'm sorry, no, game, time, and day that my videos go public for the ones I record on my YouTube channel. And I also tweet out one to two hours before I stream as well as the game and length and start of the stream. So, have, uh, follow me on Twitter is a good way to be aware of that and be aware when I drop that content. And just taking one second to that little bell, that little bell. Hit that little bell for me. Very easy to do. And if you don't use the knowledge, guess what? Knowledge is power. At least you have that knowledge at your fingertips. Also, Twitter is a good way to suggest content to me. Um, I'm very open to most content. If I don't do it, it's not because I'm just like, eh, no. It's because just I'm not interested in it. And I want to give you genuine content, genuine reactions. So I want to make sure I do stuff that I'm interested in it at least a little bit. But I'm very open to most content, so do not be afraid to suggest content. If it's a video game or a video reaction you think I'll enjoy, you enjoy watching me stream or record, do not be afraid to suggest that content to me. Um, if I can't find if I can't find a video, I ask for the video. If I don't have the game, I'll let you know when I get it. But don't be afraid to suggest that content to me. It's gonna help me broaden my horizon of content, and not only give you content that I'm going off of the algorithm, but also give you content that you're suggesting because you're interacting with me through the means and through Twitter and through Face and not through Facebook, through YouTube and um and through my Twitch page that you have to interact with me with. Also, if you want longer streams, more streams, earlier streams, see more of this beautiful face. You see this? Just fingers. See more of that, as well as more original content. Make sure to support me on all my platforms I post content on, which is YouTube with a like, comment, subscribe, Twitter with a follow, and Twitch with a follow. That being said, this is your boy, that Dragon J. Remember, no matter what you do, no matter what you start, no matter what you put your time into, because you're also awesome, you're amazing. Thank you for all the support. Keep that same energy. See you next time, like, y'all. Deuces. Ah, that that might be a little. Uh, uh, we'll work on that. We'll work on that.